Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're with Chris Lord Algae. Got something cool for you to check out here. We're at your where your studios are, and this is a brand new studio, Studio D. Studio D. Kind of a concept room, if you will. Tell us what's happening here. Well, it's. Uh, I'll tell you the short story. Uh, my complex is literally on the other side of that wall, and when I was looking to expand, I was having trouble finding something literally right next to me. So the only thing next to me was a little half suite that I could get about 12 feet wide by about 75 feet long with a little kitchen and a little bathroom, and I wanted to make just an overdub room that, that my clients could use when I'm working or that I could have someone use to accommodate more people that want to be involved in Mix LA. It was storage for a little while, and it once this Origin console came out, like literally uh, six months after I acquired the room, it became the reason why I built it. So I was able to get a company called Smart Studio to build and soundproof a floating room. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a tight quarters, but it's super. I mean, it's really intimate and makes you really be at one with what you're doing. So um, I loaded it up with with all brand new gear. I wanted this room to be. All brand new. Everything is pristine, brand new, working, and super clean and simple, and just give them the best of what's happening. So 64IO, 96K, all RedNet, all um, Origin, all Blueys, all brand new outboard gear and, and plugins and, and, and whatever's needed, and all brand new mics. And a really great engineering friend of mine, Mark DeSisto, who I respect as one of the great engineers here, I literally said, Mark, here's the keys. Go get them. I literally just gave him the room, run with it, nice. make it work, see what you can do. I'll check back with you in a few months. And it's he's been making great success in here, doing overdubs, and people just love the simplicity of it and walking in and doing it. Right. So there's actually two spaces here. There's the control room space. You've got a, yep. a live room, small live room, big enough for drums for a couple oh, of Yeah, 100%. So you can actually have the live room in front in the doorway is a panel for like a bass amp or guitar amp. And even in the back here, people sing right in the kitchen. There's tie lines. It's deadened enough. So when he does a tracking date, he'll have drums and guitars in there. He'll have a vocalist in here. He'll have an amp out in the front. And it works seamlessly because it's all new with two separate cue systems. So we took advantage of a small space. I wanted to show people, what can I do with like a back bedroom? What can I do when I only have a little thimble of a space right. but have great gear? And it works, and it's quiet, and the air conditioning and everything, and you have storage, and uh, you know, so far so good. Studio D, the little right. room, very little, cool. little big cool. room. Well, why don't we bring Mark in, and, and we'll have a little chat about what he's been doing in here. But man, thanks so much for uh, for sharing this with us. It, it really is inspiring to see, like you said, when you put great gear in a space, it works. We're all all about just making more, you know, making more of, of the mix LA thing, just making more of what I have here and spreading it out, so everyone gets a chance to make music, you know. So it's not just about big room, big gear, and all that. It's like, hey, I want to make it so it's available to everybody. Nice. Uh, thanks, Mitch. We'll bring it on Mark. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Chris. All right. Mark, thanks for joining us. Magic of digital editing. Here you are magically appearing beside me. It's incredible. I've watched many of your videos. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for saying so. Yeah. So, man, we're excited. This, uh, this room with the SSL Origin console, you've got cool processing gear. You kind of got it made in here. I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's a great opportunity. And when, you know, Chris came up with this, I was just, I just couldn't wait to get in here. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm a freelance engineer for 30, over 30 years in LA. And then I've, of course, had my home studio. And, but this is the next level. You mm -hmm. know, once I got out of this and started using the console and everything it offers, my sound just was, wow, went to another step. Right. And it also, what I noticed was like my efficiency came up. I was like, gee, I, I'm there? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually not used to being there yet where I'm satisfied because that's how it is for me. It's like, I'm just, that's my bar. I have to love it before I let someone else hear it. Right. And then when they hear it, I know where everything is exactly. So it's not a big deal to make an update or a fix. Right. And, and we were talking about how the console just facilitates that workflow and that efficiency and getting things done quickly. Oh, incredible, especially with the center section with the moving faders. And that's another thing that just I love to do, get balances with, you know, the drums and uh, then to move on and move on, especially for the vocal. It's uh, that's one of the things that the fader is blows the most away with is the feel where you can put it.
Right. Now tell us a little bit about the, the tracking room and how you approach setting things up in there. Yes. Well, it's, you know, it's not a great big room, but like I say, I'm really about getting the source sounding great before I even put any mic on it. I don't expect any miracle in here if it's not good out there. Mm -hmm. So I really spend the time with the drums, uh, with the drummer. Uh, just going through the sound and I've come up with uh, I have a nice blanket for my kick where I like it, which helps the separation it also keeps a little some symbols out of the, the kick mics which is what you want to do right and uh, I've created templates for my tracking so all my 14 mics maybe 16 mics come up mm -hmm. and uh, before I know it it's already in the headphones right yeah, again, working fast and capturing working that inspiration and, and work musically. Exactly, and, and just knowing when it's correct is mm -hmm. the thing. It's like, that's, that's a good starting point. Let's keep going. I don't want to get bogged down. No one wants to get bogged down. Right. And I'll always set up a couple extra things. So if something isn't working, I don't have to go set it up. I've already set it up ahead of me. It's in my template. I just switch to it. Right. They didn't even know I made a change. Right. But they're like, oh, it sounds better. And it's like, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So even in a large other studios, I always do that. You send your setup list ahead and there's A, B, and C. And then, yeah, I have those other mics by this. Just, just in case, in case yep. uh, someone say, oh, I want to hear sing into this. It's like, okay, it's warm and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So you're using some outward processing along with, of course, uh, Pro Tools, but you've got uh, compressors here, a couple of blueies, of course. Chris's uh, uh, signature uh, compressors, but you've got a 960 reverb. You've got some great outboard gear. Oh, it's, it's all great. I mean, and everything, every one of these pieces has their own sound. Mm -hmm. The LA-2A is wonderful. I like, I'm an old school guy. I love the LA-2A. You know, it's it just, a tube before any digital source for me is good. Right. Uh, these preamps are great. The Universal Audio 610s, his blue is just great. And it has the, uh, the mix comp. So maybe just, you know, uh, it's a it's another knob to see where where sure. you love it, right? And of course the distressive. I was really onto that when they first came out, uh, and these heritage audios mic pre's are great. Right. So, to be truthful, I generally using the SSL pre's mm -hmm. ninety percent of the time because it's what I want. It's right there, and if I have other time, I'll I'll change this and that, or for vocal maybe go into that. And, right. But for the most part, these SSL preamps are not letting me down. Nice. At all. And then the EQ is just terrific. It's the EQ, the black knob. Right. And uh, even when you're mixing through it, I can sometimes break it out. It really has that great top end on the vocal that you just, you we're also used to hearing. Right. That's like, oh yeah, this is it too. Yeah. And the room itself is, is a little bit, uh, it deceives you just a little bit because it looks like we've got hard walls around us and you'd think there'd be problems with reflections and resonances, but these are actually soft paneled walls. Right. There's a lot of treatment mm -hmm. in here. Absolutely. You don't even need anything on top. Hmm. It's everything, when you're listening in here, everything's in front of you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like. Everything's right in front of you. It's not like I'm hearing it from over here. Everything is really right in front. Nice. Mark, thanks so much for taking the time to give us a tour of the space. This is just fantastic. It's got to be a blast to work in here. You know, I, I, people ask me that. I go, I was like driving a Ferrari every day. <laughs> so How I cool come with that? a smile and I'm ready to work hard. Right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks Great for having to see us. You. Great to see you. And thank you for joining us here in Studio D at Mix LA. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.